I've been going through kind of a tough time for the past week and whenever I go through like a dark time I kind of let go of everything and just sleep all day and I'm freaking over it <laughs> so um, my routines really really help me to not only take care of myself emotionally mentally physically but also they help me to kind of feel like I have some sort of a structure and they help me to stay motivated and inspired and productive so i'm just ready to get back into my usual self because i really haven't been feeling myself without these routines <laughs> before i go on i just want to say a huge thank you to trello for sponsoring this video as you guys know i use trello all the time i share it on my instagram story and i also made a video using trello in my like plan with me video so basically i freaking love it and use it and i get so excited when brands approach me that i already use and love it's really exciting so anyway basically trello is a tool it's also an app you can also use it on your computer or online so you can take it everywhere with you and basically what it is it's an organization and planning heaven <laughs> really is heaven honestly if you're if you want to get more just organized and just plan more and get your life together or if you already are like a planning junkie just check out trello it honestly like changed my life when it comes to planning and i don't say that lightly like i'm not just saying this because it's sponsored i mean it um so basically i use trello i use it to plan my videos i use it to plan my weeks to make to-do lists for the day. I use it for grocery lists, for goals, um, for like video plans, for what I wanna do with my Instagram. Like I use it for everything. It's also great because you can add due dates and then you can see it all in a calendar that's already built in Trello. And you can also add other people. So if you're doing like group projects, you can all see what every person is doing and see what you still have to do and all that. Also, the core features of Trello are free and always will be free, which is freaking amazing, obviously. And I just love it. So thank you to Trello. I'll link it below, obviously, if you want to check it out. I'm just ready to feel myself again. So let's do it. <laughs> So I just finished journaling. I feel really, really good. I was basically writing about how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling that way, what can I do about it. Um, I also wrote a list of things that I'm grateful for. Um, I was also writing about my dreams, which is something that I really want to start doing every day because uh, I've been having a lot of weird, vivid dreams recently and I believe that dreams have meaning so writing about it just kind of helps me like decode everything. I feel so much better already and I just started so I'm really excited for this day. Okay, so right now I'm sitting on my little blanket. I'm at my little spiritual corner of the room, which is probably my favorite part. I'm burning some incense, which smells so good. I picked two crystals that I just felt drawn to. This is an amethyst and a rose quartz, so that's what we're feeling today. <laughs> I'm just gonna play some meditation music. I'm gonna meditate with these two crystals. It's so much easier for me to fall into meditation when I use crystals for some reason. Um, so I love doing that. Just connect with myself, see how my body is feeling, see how I'm feeling. And then I'm just gonna draw some tarot cards. And that's it. That's kind of my spiritual routine. I Mind of stone, tear me to pieces, skin. 
Taking a bone, my love, welcome home. Okay, so I finished my morning routine and some other things that I had to do, and I feel so good already. And I just started my day, so I'm really happy. Until my nighttime routine, I'm gonna be doing a few things that I wanna implement into my everyday life, so like painting and yoga and just a ton of cool stuff that I love to do and I want to start doing that in my free time instead of just scrolling through Instagram or watching YouTube videos. I don't know, I just rather spend my free time doing things that I love and instead of watching people do what they love. It just makes more sense to me and it seems more fulfilling to me. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of hours apart from like work and just things that I have to do. So I'm pretty excited about that. Winter stone and summer surreal and the rivers cracked and cold say the sky is in no man's land a dark and plume to stay hope your needs a humble hand not a fox found in your place No man is an island This I know But can't you see That maybe you were an ocean And I was just a stone Black flies on a windowsill That we are, that we are to hold Okay, so there is a beautiful sunset right now I just did my manifestation routine And now I'm about to read this book Which I've been reading for the past two weeks It's called This Is Me Letting You Go And it's really, really good It's full of essays about the topic of letting go about romance love heartbreak all of that so it's really good i wanted to kind of wrap up this video and say goodbye but first i just want to say that i feel so much better and i feel so loved right now because it's pretty hard for me to do caring and loving things for myself when i'm going through a hard time it's a lot easier to just lay in bed and ignore myself and my feelings um, but I feel so much better now and I think it's so important to show up for yourself especially when you're going through a hard time like at the end of the day your most important relationship is the relationship that you have with yourself and so how would you feel if your partner or your friend or a family member would ignore you when you're going through a hard time like you feel exactly the same when you ignore yourself you just don't feel it because you're so used to it and at least that's how i feel and so it's been just so nice to show myself the opposite and show myself love and take care of myself um i feel like full you know like cause sometimes you can get in a state of like i need someone else and like you get kind of desperate for maybe like a boyfriend or a friend or whatever and obviously it's natural to want those things but it's that like obsessive feeling that's i think pretty unhealthy 
and right now like I feel the opposite of that I feel so full and just like taken care of and it's a really really good feeling so if you're going through a hard time or if you're doing amazing <laughs> like just take care of yourself and love yourself and give yourself everything that you would want your perfect partner or friend or family member to give you because you can give yourself those things and i love you thank you so much for listening to me and for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you very soon bye